So anyways, this is what staged harvesting looks like. This is what's left of diamond after taking off all the uh, completely mature buds. I still have these ones left to grow out a little bit more. Get some more THC crystals. Get them darkened up. Uh, one of the things I didn't mention is pests. I was actually quite surprised and quite blessed that in this area there is a wealth of lizards and birds. And so you don't really get <clears throat> like large pests. Um, Diamond would get these cute little grasshoppers that would just nibble at the fan leaves. So I just left them alone. I mean, eventually they get slightly larger and then you just want to get rid of them or put them around somewhere. Um, the first time I discovered one, it was about this big. And I'm like, oh, you're just fucking gobbling up my fucking weed plant. All right. I just can't let you just continue to do that or reproduce and just eat up all my stuff. So I just came up on them. I didn't want to squish them because I just have this aversion to squishing things, especially live creatures. So I took my uh, Fiskers and I just came up stealthily and they're just, he's just there munching on my bud and I just snipped his head off, boom, just like that. And his body's kicking around. That's freaking me out. So I stomp on the body. And then I look at his head. And he's like waving his little feelers at me. He's just like checking me out. Like why the fuck do you interrupt my dinner. And squash my body. And so I just stomped on him. I'm just like that just wigged me out. So after that I started paying more attention. And finding them when they're in these cute little stages. And I could just uh squish them but then afterwards I just realized they're eating up all the fan leaves that I would be normally sticking in my juicer to drink as smoothies anyways um, they weren't really eating at the bud so I just let those little suckers um, continue when they started getting huge that's when I kind of had to take matters in the hand but I let the little guys just feed I mean they, they take small little bites actually you can't even find the fan leaves that have the bite oh yeah see just a little, little nibble. Hardly any damage at all. So, but then, on Lucy, who has some more lush foliage, as I started dismantling her and cutting off all of her mature branches and processing them, I'm cutting away these big, lush fan leaves. They're fucking little caterpillars, man, nestled in the bud. Like, almost every branch I pulled off has had at least one or two caterpillars nestled eating away inside at the bud. And I've actually had a couple buds that were just completely rotted from the inside out because these little suckers were just sitting there hiding, feasting. And so then I just, you know, I just started processing branches and just cleaning them off and drying them off. And they hide so well that even when I'm curing and hanging the bud to dry, sometimes I think I've gotten them all, they're hanging to dry. These little suckers start leaving the bud as it dries and they climb up the hanger and then they're just crawling up and down the fucking bar, just like, hey, what happened to my fresh green lush bud? So, and then I just pick them up and I put them on an outside plant. I just don't like squishing caterpillars. I don't like cutting the head off of grasshoppers. And then I'm like, Man, I got caterpillars. I got grasshoppers. I mean, it's just amazing that I don't have any pests on my vegetables that are growing. Right? I've got this nice, lush, wild tomato plant. And I'm like, alright, where are the little fucking grasshoppers? Where are the little fucking grasshoppers? Where are the little caterpillars? Huh. I can't believe it. This thing doesn't really have any pests on it holy fuck I actually said that out loud right when I came across I'm like holy fuck that's a caterpillar 
These are caterpillars I used to see on my tomato plant when I was a kid. And I haven't seen them since, so this may be common to everybody, but to me it's beautiful. It's a beautiful creature. It's feasting on my wild tomato plant. I've got four tomato plants. Maybe this thing develops into these beautiful monarch type butterflies that are flying around. So I'm actually protective of this guy. I hope he thrives. I hope he makes a nice big cocoon. I want to see what he develops into. Look at this sucker. Huge. Anyways, it's... Man, what day of the week is it? That's exactly what day of the week it is. You know what I mean?